Today on Gadget Class, I'm going to show you how to do all of your central upgrades on your Dell Latitude E5400 series of laptops. This will be your E5410 and all the laptops in the 5400 series. Um, I'll show you how to upgrade your hard drive and put in a solid state drive. That's a really good upgrade to give your older computer a newer uh, zippy feel. I'm going to show you how to swap out the optical drive for either like a new Blu-ray or DVD burner or how to put a secondary hard drive in there to store all your videos, movies, all your fun uh, files on there. I'm um, also going to show you how to upgrade or max out the memory, how to uh, swap out the fan if your fan is making funny noises, how to swap out the CMOS battery, and finally how to swap out the Wi-Fi card if you're having issues with your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth. So it's pretty easy on this model. I'm just going to flip it over, pull out the battery. We've got one single screw here. It is a keeper screw, so just unscrew it. You're gonna want a good precision screwdriver set. If you don't have one, check the links in the video description below. I'll have links for all the parts to do this upgrade, links to a good precision screwdriver set that'll get you into any laptop. Um, everything you want is down in the description below, or if you hover on or click on the screen up here, a little eye will pop up, and all the links to all these upgrades will pop up. And uh, for you uh, desktop users, I'll also put annotations right up here with all of these parts as well. So you're just going to pull on that tab. It just pulls right off. It's pretty easy. Uh, then we have access to all of our parts right here. So the hard drive, you can upgrade that with any standard uh, 9.5 or 7 millimeter drive. I highly recommend upgrading with a solid state drive. Today we're going to be upgrading to a BX100 SSD, and this is the Gadget Class top pick for upgrading an older laptop. It's cheap enough, you're only going to be spending 70 bucks on a 120 gigabyte hard drive. It's going to give your computer that new, kind of newish computer feel. Your startups are going to be much faster. I would highly recommend a solid state drive. Memory can be up to eight gigabytes. You can either have one eight gigabyte chip or you can have two four gigabyte chips. Uh, you can't have like one six and one two. You either need to do two four or one eight. Um, pretty easy to get. It has to be DDR3 204 pin so dim, 1300 megahertz. I'll put links to all this down in the description below. We got our fan right there. We got our CMOS battery. We got our Wi Fi card. Everything is right here, easy to get to. Uh, let's start with the hard drive, then we'll move on to swapping out the optical drive, then we'll go to the memory, and then we'll go to the fan, CMOS battery, and Wi-Fi. So, since most people are going to be doing this for the hard drive, let's go ahead and pull out the hard drive. We have four screws holding the hard drive in. You got this little tab here, pull that out and pull it straight back up and out. And there's our hard drive caddy. We only have two screws on this model. Go ahead and pop those out. And then just pull straight up on the back and pull it out like that. That's our old bad hard drive. Then we'll grab our new BX100 hard drive. They do include this little spacer to make it uh, fit in nine and a half millimeter enclosures. We aren't going to be using that for this particular laptop. Go ahead and touch something metal. You want to ground yourself. You don't want to shock your new, brand new solid state drive. And we're just going to take our, our caddy, hold it in one hand, and we're going to take our drive, and we want to match the connector up with this little flange here. So we want those to be on the same side like that. Slip the back in first. Switch that all the way back and then just push the front down. Make sure your screw holes line up on either side. And then grab the same screw as you removed it with. Put one in each side. This is going to cut your power consumption down. And it's going to make your drive, uh, your computer run quieter and cooler. Those are all pluses. The Crucial BX100 has one of the best power consumption classes or ratings on the market. So our caddy is fully installed. We're just going to slide it into the space where it was, like that. Have the tab all the way pushed to the back, and then you're just going to push forward, like so. And we'll stick our tab back into that little space there. 
Then we'll reinstall our four screws. Next, we will uh, swap out the optical drive. That's a that's a good upgrade to do. Um, even if you wanted to swap out the main drive for your solid state drive, you could then take the original hard drive, stick it in a second hard drive caddy, and use it in the second bay. So we've got one screw here. You're just going to take your same Phillips screwdriver, unscrew that. If your driver is not magnetic, get yourself a pair of tweezers or forceps. Pull that screw out. Then take your same screwdriver and just uh, kind of push on the screw hole, push it out towards the side, and then just kind of slide that tab out until you can grab it over here, and then just kind of wiggle it out and it comes out like so. So at this point you could just simply uh, swap in your new DVD drive. If you're going to get a generic DVD drive or you're using a generic second hard drive caddy, which we are, we're going to have to take off our bezel and use that on our new hard drive. And some of them are a little tight. Um, they aren't too hard to get off. You want to start on this end, the thick end. You got one skinny end and one thick end. What we're going to do is uh, kind of pull up on it a little bit stick our drive up in there and there's like a little little circular pin in there that's what holds the whole thing on there kind of I'm going to kind of pry up right there while you're pushing over to the left just want to get it past that pin and usually once you go past that pin right there uh, the whole thing just kind of snaps off all by itself that one little pin goes into that little hole in there and kind of holds it all. But you want to be gentle with this. Uh, you don't want to break off all these little tabs. And that's our old drive. As far as the second hard drive caddy goes, they're pretty standard. You can, you can get them in a 9.5 millimeter size or in an 11 millimeter size. The Dell E5410 series uses an 11 millimeter second hard drive caddy. I'll put links to all this down in the description below. But we're just going to take our bezel, you pop that on your new DVD drive or your second hard drive caddy. And I usually start in the opposite end that I took it off, so I'll put this uh, flat tab in first over on this side, and then I'll just make sure everything's lined up. And they usually pop on there really quick. So I, I'm not sure what size this is. Um, but I like to put either a one terabyte or a two terabyte Samsung spin point in these. That way you have plenty of room. You can store all your movies on there. Really a great way to do it. And you don't have to worry about an external drive. And then you take and either use your old optical drive with a little uh, SATA adapter and plug it right into your USB port. Or you get yourself an external DVD drive. Uh, I think this real estate is much better served by a second hard drive than it ever could be with an optical drive. Um, they just aren't used enough and if you're going to carry something around to store files in it might as well be hard in there instead of you know carrying around a little fragile USB ex internal enclosure. So we're just going to slide that in. Oh yeah. We need to do the back flange. Don't forget about the back flange. I actually stole this second hard drive caddy out of a different laptop for the purposes of this video. So I'm actually taking off the back flange of the other computer. Take your original optical drive and you're just going to unscrew the little back flange. Two screws holding it on. That's our back flange. Take your new drive and it's going to have the same kind of hole set up for it. Put it on in the same orientation that the other one was in. Just screw it in there.
All right, so our back flange is installed. Now, now we can just pop it in. There we go. Take our same original screw, screw that in. Now we have uh, an upgraded one terabyte, two terabyte, or our original spinning hard drive in that optical drive bay much better served. Let's move on to the memory. If you've never done this before, you simply uh, pull either of these two tabs on both sides and it'll kind of pop itself up like that. You wanna make sure you do them both kind of at the same time. And then it'll kind of get to a point and stop and you can kind of just wiggle and pull it straight out at an angle. It's like a 33 degree angle or something. Same thing with the bottom chip. Let it come out, pull it straight out. Installation is pretty much the same. You want to put it in at about a 33 degree angle. Push it in until you can't really see the pins anymore. And then push down on both corners evenly until it locks into place. Now we'll take our new RAM chip, put it in at an angle, push it in until you can't see the pins anymore, and push down on both corners. We just upgraded our memory. Now fans, that's a common replacement item. It's only got two screws and it's super easy to replace. One there, one there, and the whole thing just pops out like that. This would be good a good opportunity to take some compressed air and clean out the fins right there, clean out the fan, and just simply unplug it right there, plug the new one back in, and screw it down. Super easy. I love the way they built all the common user replaceable objects. Easy to get to on this model. Pretty good series of laptop. All right, now the Wi-Fi card. You're gonna wanna pull on each of these two little antenna wires. Pull those straight up, kinda wiggle and pull straight up. Uh, those are kinda fragile wires, so don't, you wanna be careful with them. Pull like that, and there's a little plastic tab right there. Just push that back, and the whole thing will come up, kinda like a memory chip. Pull it out like so, and that's our Wi-Fi card. I've never really seen one of those go bad, but I've heard about it. Uh, installation is the opposite. Just push it in kind of like a memory chip and push it straight down. And then these little wires, you want to make sure you get those on there right. Get it right onto the little connector and then push it straight down. They're kind of finicky, fragile little things and they're really important. So you want to make sure you do it, do it right. Make sure you get them on there properly and correctly. CMOS battery just pulls out like that, unplugs. Those don't go bad as much as they used to back in the old days, but if you need to, it's there. This does have a replaceable CPU, which is a good thing. Um, and to do that, you're just gonna unscrew your heatsink screws and uh, pop the whole heatsink out. And then uh, you got a standard laptop uh, CPU holder in there. Um, I'll put a link to uh, the best processor you can put in there as well. But that's pretty much it. We've got our hard drive, our second hard drive, our memory, our fan, our Wi-Fi card, our CMOS battery, our processor. That's pretty much it. You can pretty much max things, these things out all by yourself really easily. The back cover, you're gonna put the this side in first, get the little tabs in there and in place. Just push it down all the way to the back. Make sure you get all the little snaps. And then just take and screw your one uh, set screw like so. We install our battery. Whoops, don't drop it. And we're good to go. From this point, I would go ahead and reinstall Windows. I would do a clean install of Windows. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and clone your existing system, uh, which you can only do if it didn't crash like it did on this one, if you have a good working system, you can go ahead and clone it using Macrium Reflect or Acronis True Image. I'll put links down in the description to doing it both ways. I've done it both ways on video for you guys. It's pretty easy. Um, so I'm just gonna pop in my uh, USB Windows 7 disk and uh, go ahead and install Windows. But be sure to use my links in the description below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the thumbs up button on the video.